The Peanut Innovation Lab works with researchers and farmers to increase yields, fight pests, and get a safe, nutritious crop to market. One of the keys to protecting that crop and improving food safety is proper drying and storage. Through effective drying and storage, farmers can minimize growth of the mold that makes aflatoxin. People around the world are exposed to aflatoxin through food crops like maize and groundnuts. Deaths caused from acute poisoning may occasionally make the news, but for millions of people, it's the regular exposure to aflatoxin that does the most harm, leading to stunting of children or liver cancer in adults. One of the innovations that promises to improve aflatoxin control is a device that makes quantitative testing cheaper and easier than ever before. The M-Reader, developed by the Colorado-based company Mobile Assay, uses an inexpensive electronic tablet, commercially available test strips, and a 3D printed strip holder to produce accurate aflatoxin results. The system does not require complex lab infrastructure, which allows technicians to run tests quickly and close to the field, reduces error and cost, and provides immediate feedback to researchers, producers, and buyers. The Peanut Innovation Lab validated the technology and helped beta test several field models with research partners in seven countries. While the mobile assay system improves crop testing, another innovation is helping to track aflatoxin in the blood of people. A system developed by Dr. J.S. Wong at the University of Georgia makes testing of dried blood spots possible, a breakthrough that makes large-scale blood testing much simpler and offers new opportunities for research and health monitoring. The standard blood test for aflatoxin exposure requires a large blood sample to be drawn and processed. It must be kept in cold storage and shipped to one of only a handful of labs in the world. Switching to commonly used dried blood spot cards makes the process much less invasive and greatly simplifies the collection and shipment of samples. The dried blood spot system was validated through 3,500 samples under the Peanut Innovation Lab, and in real-world scaling of the new method, the Nutrition Innovation Lab at Tufts University is using the dried blood spots and Wong's lab to test aflatoxin levels in 670 samples taken in Nepal. This project, called the AFLA cohort, will greatly improve our understanding of the role aflatoxin plays in complex health outcomes, such as stunting.